cannot even say this enough. In fact, this week, we need diving a bit because we are losing it. People that are breaking up, oh, it's about to be over. Everything's about to be over. So we really need that dinner date. We need it as special and as important as possible. We need roses, we need champagne, we need wine. I don't drink, but we'll drink. Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Vicky and I am so glad to have you on my channel. Please, if you're seeing me for the very first time, please do well to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not forget to turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video. And please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me comments in the comment section below. Oh, you guys, see, for some reason, I don't know what is going on between the Bella and Sheik's ship because as it is right now, well, in also Bella's words, Bella is also is already telling Biggie that, in fact, this ship will soon capsize. Because for the longest time lately, they've been having from one issues, one banter, one misunderstanding to the other. And Bella is like, she doesn't think they are compatible, you understand? So in her diary section today, she was telling uh, Big Brother that she actually is not really feeling good with herself, you understand? Because of the whole drama, maybe because she's up for eviction. And also, with all the drama that's been going on with she and Chegs, that's really honest with you, she can just say that what she's feeling like, at the moment right now is that maybe they are not compatible in fact biggie we are actually breaking up so she was actually in that diary section begging biggie to please 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 organize it's like they ordered for like a dinner date between the two of them you get and they paid like 600 pocket naira to biggie for biggie to to actually organize the date for them and you need to hear all the things that bella was mentioning varieties of food they want to eat and eat and eat you know like if you leave us for maybe just give us privacy for one night that won't be bad as well it won't be too bad because it's needed they're losing our minds we have been like having disagreements every single day this week has been like the worst week so that dinner date will really be helpful and should be done as soon as possible because it's either i'm going to end it or it's either going to end it i don't know what's going on Bella mentioned things so even big self they shocked they be like I don't understand now the money small money when you pay now you they uh, you they mention all these things prawns lobster this da 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 that pet house ro what you happen <laughs> you understand so for for my own opinion about this the whole relationship of the thing I I really feel like uh, Shex is a very possessive person Shex is a very dominating person I don't understand because I would have really loved to see Bella in a way from shakes like and not like away from the relationship i would have really love to see bella manifest by herself like let's know bella for who she is because at the end of the day the way it is right now i don't think that the bella we know now is actually the bella that would have actually been if she was not all caught up in the relationship thingy with shakes you understand because i just feel like every time you see her she's with shakes she doesn't feel like she has like a life of her own outside the shakes like see see i don't know if it's just me if it's not just me please 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 you guys should leave it in the comment section who else is feeling the way i'm feeling like we would love to see um bella on her own without shakes because Omo, the guy just looks like a walking red flag. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe the condition of the house. You know, the house can really have a hold on people and make people to behave in a way they might not be able. But this is a thing we've been seeing subsequently in the show. We, the viewers, can just know that Omo, we don't think this thing will last. And I don't, I'm not like I'm wishing them bad. But if Shex is the kind of person that he actually is in the house, outside the house, I don't actually see that relationship lasting because you guys, I don't know. The drama is just too 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 much the complain everything he's just like pressing her down completely anyway guys moving on so after daniela actually have the prayer section with doto under the duvet last the other night she actually went to talk with big brother about it and was telling big brother that she actually regretted not creating boundaries between she and doto and now it has metamorphosed into some kind of thing she wouldn't have she would not have loved you understand i had a relationship going with khalid before he left and presently there is something as well that is starting to stir up as well between i and doctor so i just feel the my regret right now is i feel like i shouldn't have let my relationship with doctor become something that is questionable and i'm like you know that you had according to her she knows she had a thing to do with khalid like they were they were official, do you get? You know you had a thing with 
a guy in the same house and then he just left on national tv you guys see uh, don't just come with the fact that uh, if you're here you without sin should cast the stone first to be really honest with you sometimes even if you have a bad habit knowing that there are cameras around will just make you comport yourself i just feel like for her to be able to be acting the way she is acting on national tv knowing the fact that there are cameras on her is really 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 embarrassing that's my opinion because i feel like even if you have this you do this in your private life you should be able to you should be able to hold yourself and if you cannot it says so much it says so much about your personality and i really to be honest, not like I'm judging her per se, but I'm just wondering why, why could you, why can't you hold yourself? Why couldn't you hold yourself? You get, you just have something with someone that just left the house two weeks back and now you're already being entangled with some other guy on national TV. Make that make sense. It doesn't make any sense to me because it just feels like it's either Daniela actually was held so tightly when she was young or she wasn't given the opportunity to, to express herself. I bet she been there. I don't even know because I don't know how to really justify this a, a character or this king of boys thing she's been doing in the house lately. And immediately after her diary section, she sat down at the garden and was shedding tears. <laughs> I'm sure she was regretting but you know what that tears is actually not going to be anything if in the coming days and week while she's still in the house she doesn't change or convince us that okay that was a mistake i'm retracing my step back then it will mean nothing anyway guys that's just it thank you so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section and i most definitely see you all in my next video subscribe if you haven't thank you so very much for watching bye guys